Apple Wallet, how to use the electronic wallet on your iPhone. So we'll be going over what the Apple Wallet is, how you can access it on your phone, its various uses, the pros and cons, and some other helpful information. So what is Apple Wallet? Apple Wallet is an iPhone app that organizes your credit cards, debit cards, coupons, movie tickets, boarding passes, and reward cards all on your phone and your Apple Watch if you have one of them. The cards and info you save in the wallet can be accessed when you use Apple Pay. It is available for iPhones with iOS 15 or higher installed. What can you store on Apple Wallet? Things you can use in Apple Wallet are your credit and debit cards. You can also store your airplane boarding passes and event tickets. You can store your passports, driver's license, that's only in Arizona and Maryland. You can also store your car insurance cards and other IDs, as well as gifts, as well as gift cards and coupons. How to access Apple Wallet. First, you will find the app on your iPhone or double click the side power button. This is what the app looks like. Once you're in the app, you should see a page like the screen on the right hand side. Why is Apple Wallet a good app to use? It is very convenient and easy to use. You only need your phone and you don't even need to have your card when you're using it. It is also more secure than using your actual card. People are always on their phones, which means they have more attention on phones. And you can see the transaction record immediately on your iPhone. Adding ID and cards to your Apple Wallet. Make sure that your iPhone has iOS 15 installed. Then you would open up the Apple Wallet app. You would tap the plus sign as shown here in the upper right hand corner of the screen and tap the card type. Example, the identity, and then you would also input your identification card, your hotel key, and your transit card key, whatever it is. You will follow the screen's prompts on your phone and begin to scan your ID using the iPhone's camera and built-in scanner. For example, Apple will advise you to scan the front of your card first and make sure you're in an area with plenty of bright light and simple dark backdrop. After scanning your ID, the wallet app will confirm when your identifi identification sorry, is secure and ready to use. Now, how to add a credit or debit card to your Apple wallet. You would tap the circular plus button near the upper right hand corner of your screen. Once you click the circular plus button, this is the screen you should see set on the right hand side, I mean left hand side, sorry. Then you will click continue to go to the next step. There are two different ways that you can save your card in Apple Wallet. The first way is you scan your card by putting it into the camera frame. And the second way is you enter your card details manually. Adding tickets and passes to your Apple Wallet. You would open Eventbrite and tap on the tickets icon in the navigation bar at the bottom and then find your ticket for an upcoming event. After that, you will tap on the ticket and information about the event will appear as well as a black add to Apple wallet icon at the top. You would hit the icon and a pass should be generated for the wallet. Finally, you will tap on add in the top right and the pass will be added to your wallet. Adding tickets and passes to your Apple wallet. If there's a QR code or barcode you can scan, you may be able to add it to your wallet. All you would have to do is simply open your camera and point it at the code and wait for a notification to appear that redirects you to Safari. If it is compatible, you will see the path in your web browser like so. And then you would look for the add to Apple wallet icon, tap on it, then hit add.
how to redeem rewards with Apple Wallet. One of the reasons to get and use an Apple Card regularly is the fact that you'll be earning daily cash back on all of your purchases. The daily cash rewards is automatic and gets deposited to your Apple Cash Card immediately once the transaction is processed. With the Apple Card, with the Apple Card credit card, all of your daily cash rewards are automatically deposited into your Apple Pay Cash Card after the transaction is finally is finally processed. And your daily cash rewards on your Apple Pay Cash Card can be redeemed by transferring it to your bank account. You can also use it to pay your friends through iMessage and through Apple Pay. Use as regular Apple Pay payment card or even apply towards paying off your Apple Card. Here are a few apps that work with Apple Wallet, such as Target, Walgreens, Sephora. You also have Macy's, Staples, Home Depot, Dick's, Lowe's, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, 7-Eleven, American Airlines, Air Canada, Ticketmaster, Eventbrite, and many more. Now, here's a more in-depth way to look at how to add your cards into Apple Wallet. First, you will simply put your credit or debit card into the frame. The app will automatically scan it and get your information. After that is done, you will click next and you should see the right hand screen once it's been scanned. So it should automatically input your first and last name as well as your card number. And you will just look over it to verify that it scanned it correctly. Continuing with the first way, after you click next, you would see the screen on the right hand side and it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Because you scan your card, it will fill in the expiration date for you. However, you would need to find the security code of your card in the back and fill it out manually. And this is what it looks like when you fill out the, um, the security code and the expiration date. The second way, of course, is to enter it manually yourself, which is to just input the numbers and your and your name and the security code as well by yourself if you don't want the card to be scanned or if you don't have your credit card on you at the moment. And then once you have all your information ready, you would simply click next and now you can use Apple Pay with this card. You can go grocery shopping, clothes shopping, and pay by using Apple Wallet. And you don't need to bring your card with you. How to pay with Apple Wallet. It's different on different models of iPhone. So for some iPhones that have the home button, you would double press the home button. And for an iPhone that doesn't have the home button anymore, you would simply double click the side button, which is the power button. This is what it should look like after you double press the home button or the side button. And now you can hold your phone near the card reader. Once you hold your phone towards the card reader, you should hear like a ding sound that indicates that your payment is successful and you can take your phone back. What do you tell cashiers when you want to use Apple Wallet? You should be able to use Apple Pay at most stores where the tap feature is available. There are some stores who don't have this feature, but it is very rare. I, and all you have to do is um, tell the cashier that you wanna use Apple Pay. If Apple Pay is enabled on the card reader, you should see the Apple Pay icon like so. And when you are trying to check out with Apple Pay, simply tell the cashier what type of card you have. You can also check the transactions record on your Apple Wallet. You would click the card that you wanna check depending if you have more than one added and the transactions of your bank card will show up. So as you can see here, it shows the amount and also where it was located and the time that it was used. And to see a more in-depth uh, review of it, you can click on the specific transactions and see the information and it will even show you like a map of where it was paid for and it will show you like various information such as the date as well.